Hook, could you feel the heat between those two? Wow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Roxanne Perez. Well, let's call it like it is. Roxanne Perez is frustrated. She's peeved. The prodigy is here to prove a point against Jakara Jackson next live on NXT. Accompanied by Lash Legend, representing Metaphor, Jakara Jackson. WWE is proud to support the Ad Council and their Love Is No Labels campaign. Celebrate this Black History Month and visit wwwme shop or scan the QR code on the screen to purchase your own WWE Heritage Month merchandise. $7.50 will be donated from each sale to support Ad Council. We can sit here for Perez and Jackson. Look, Roxanne Perez is upset. She didn't answer Ava's open challenge for Lyra Valkyria's NXT Women's Championship. She's upset. She's already coming out of the gate hot. Unfortunately, of course, Shotzi suffered that medical disqualification. Ava, in a blink of an eye booker, she did what she needed to do for the fans. And Lash was behind the curtain, having just competed. That's why she was able to answer the call so fast. So what's wrong with Jakara Jackson being proud of how Lash competed last week? It was quite the effort. Look, I can't complain. You know, Lash, Lash, let me get it. Opportunity. I can't even blame Ava. She was in a little predicament there. I got condemned to She had to make a decision. Right now, I think Roxanne Perez, she's showing up fresh, fresh, fresh. You never want to let them see you sweat, Vic. You never want to let them see you do that. Right now, she's doing it. I can't believe I just said something nice about the metaphor. You know, no, not just that. Uh, you know, I, I, you, oh might, you, you might have a little fever or something. Are you okay? Are you good? I'm going to try to get back on track here because there you see Jakara Jackson right now in control of this matchup and look it could be a long night though for the metaphor no MDR of course defending that Heritage Cup in our main event and under catch clawed rules he doesn't even know which member of the no quarter catch crew he's gonna face as Roxanne Perez turning things around you know what you know what it doesn't matter it really doesn't yeah I'm gonna hold you to that later on tonight but look at Perez the prodigy oh, no Springboard Moonsault not able to keep Jakara down. And what has been your recent advice to Roxanne Perez, who, bam, nasty landing, almost able to pick up the win? You know, I haven't talked to Roxanne lately. I really haven't. It seems really? Like she's been in seclusion. It seems like she's been staying away, haven't answered her phone or anything like that. But she's got to go through this on her own. We've all been through these moments in this business. I understand. I get it. On topic of champions, we're going to hear from Lyra Valkyria also here tonight. And look, Roxanne Perez, she passes pictures. They're looking for Pop Rocks. Looking for Pop Rocks. Last legend, though, helping out Jakara. And the referee's discretion here. He just tossed Flash shot. That's a hell of a job by the official. He doesn't want to throw this match out. We want to see a winner. But Lash does need to be sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. And Roxanne Perez quickly right now trying to take advantage of the situation. But oh, getting dropped into the cover goes Jakara. And a kick out. As I was saying, for Roxanne Perez, she passes pictures of Rhea Ripley's and Becky Lynch in the Hall of Champions. She wants to be mentioned in the same breath as those two, by the way, are on a collision course for the women's world title at WrestleMania. She's done so much already, Vic. I mean, uh, breakout tournament winner. She's done so much. I mean, NXT Women's Champion. She's done it all, but she wants so much more because she is, she feels like she is truly that prodigy. And for Jakara Jackson, she's not out here, now out here by herself. And I want to, you know, let you know, for Jakara Jackson, correct me if I'm wrong, this is her first one-on-one -on -one matchup in NXT. And she is taking it to Roxanne Perez, a former tag team and NXT Women's Champion. There's a lot to like right now about Jakara Jackson. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Well, falling into the cover, hook of the leg, not able to get it done. Jakara Jackson coming off of a gnarly, gnarly wrist injury right there. Yep. I'll tell you, Vince, that right there is something hard to heal from. You don't get a chance to really do anything any training but you look at Jakara Jackson she's still on the Scotty list and she's looking real good man Ooh. These two taking it to each other. And it was Jakara who told Roxanne Prez, you need to stay ready so you don't need to get ready. And it's Roxanne Prez who's ready to deliver some sort of ass whooping wow. here tonight. 
the speed. Big right hand. Wait, this right there, that's just those frustrations that's coming out because Roxanne feel like she should have gotten that title shot. But not it's no Shotzi. One. Shotzi should not have gotten that title it's shot. No it's, on, it's, it's no one's fault. Come on, come on. It's no one's fault. I'm not here to argue. Wait a minute, are you saying Shotzi? Just walk in the it's back. It's not door, our decision. Just walk in and she get a title shot. It's not our decision, Booker. We're looking for a submission, and we've seen Perez try to punish her opponents. Cross face locked in. A quick tap out by Jakara. Tonight, Roxanne Perez showed Jakara Jackson that Jackson was in the wrong place at the wrong time.